What's up you guys? Chet Guthrie the Dream Poet here. Coming to you all with another fun-filled vlog. Not in the state of Florida, but the state of Tennessee. Yes, I'm back home for the Thanksgiving weekend, visiting family. And I thought, while we were out here, we would check out none other than the Teleco Roundhouse. Yes, this building was built back in 1958 by a man by the name of Doc Rogers. He was a lumber doctor sent from the lumber company down to the Telco Plains area to really take care of his people. And I think today, you guys, we're going to go inside. We're going to check it out. Don't try this at home. I'm serious. Don't try it at home. Yeah, let's, let's see what's in the inside. Last time I was here was about two years ago. And I know it's been a while but as y'all are wondering you all see a really big fire spot where a burn happened building caught fire back in 2013 and which was really sad but kind of ironic because doc rogers originally intended this to be a um, an apartment complex but the fire marshal shut him down due to its size and it's it's bolts so i think today you guys we're going to do something that i have not done in a while we are going to go up the old teleco roundhouse as you can tell it's a little bit wiry a little bit rickety i just hate to see that all this is burned yes some of it is not the safest in the world but i still find this building completely astounding because this used to be an old silo really cool really neat piece of history but anyway we're going to go to the top and i think we're going to go back down this, this building is kind of old As you can see down below, there are some of the old Teleco um, quarry foundations. So this is back in the Civil War days, this used to be a, uh, a quarry, but looks like we're not going much further than there. So I think we are going to go back down. We might go into town and get some lunch. I wanted to stop here briefly because, because this is a piece of East Tennessee history, a very special piece of East Tennessee history. One that really people don't know that much about. All right, that's a fun little piece of East Tennessee history. Um, as I was saying, there is a slate quarry behind there that was formed back in the 20s and the 30s. Um, we didn't go out there in particular, mainly because I'm a little bit of a time crush crunch today, but I wanted to show you all that because the Teleco Roundhouse, again, I say it is a very special piece an unknown piece of East Tennessee's logging history. Formed by a man that was just as eccentric and mysterious as he was interesting. 
I think that made sense. So we are gonna go into town, gonna have some lunch, and we're gonna go to the Charles Hall Museum. That's another interesting character of East Tennessee history, Teleco Plains history. This, you guys, is the heart, well, of downtown Teleco Plains, the historic district, at least part of it. Um, last time I was here, they had a really awesome restaurant. It was really good, but I believe, I believe it's out of business, sadly. Yes, yes, but I will not let that throw a monkey into my, <laughs> I will not let that throw a monkey wrench into my plans. So I think before we go to the Charles Hall Museum, we're gonna walk around town a little bit. I'll just show you, a, well, what this truly small town looks like. It's really cool. Yes, as you all can see, it's, it's very quiet, very closed down. You do have a few stores that are open. I'm wondering if COVID-19 had anything to do, those are some cold benches, with the closing on some of these businesses. It makes you wonder. It's like they've got like some really nice shoe plant. Not plant, shoe store. But yes. And we are going to come across this one cool building in particular that also shares a part shares a part of the doc rogers mythos this was none other than doc rogers house for many many years he lived here i believe till he passed away i want to say um honestly it's very unassuming and you see there's also another interesting story about this house and especially about Doc Rogers himself. They say he had a buried treasure somewhere in this house, or at least that's how the story went. I think, I don't know how much it was. I believe it was all silver. And to this day, it's never been found. Some people say that it's at the roundhouse and the caves. Some say it's buried somewhere in the walls of that house. And for some, there is another property that we are not going to go up to today that literally is in the mountains. And that was Doc Rogers Hospital. It's about a three hour hike. We're not gonna do that. Um, but yes, so let's, let's go to the museum. Go in, shall we? All right, for those of you who don't know, Charles Hall was a very influential person in Teleco Plains. Um, he was the mayor for several years. Um, he passed away in 2015, but this collection of artifacts was, well, his collection his livelihood, things that he found in this life to be very interesting, very beautiful. He was a very eclectic person. It looks like they've got for themselves a really, really cool old car. But one of the big things that uh, we have here in his collection is that uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff from I see or the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. Two old phone booths. No, no, that's something you'll never see any day, or that you all don't see anymore. It's very cramped in here. Looks 
why Charles Hall had a thing for phones. I, I don't know about you guys, but I, I really dig the, the Coca-Cola phone. And you gotta think, this, we have come so far from that to this. Within the span of at least 100 years or so. Then you gotta think if that thing was for sale, that would be about a $500 basket. You're probably wondering why it would be a five six hundred dollar basket, or probably more, is that is made by the Eastern Band of the Cherokee Nation. Still practices artisans things that the tribe still practices to this day. So yes, that thing was made by Cherokee folk, and it's it's up there. <laughs> And again, we have more stuff from the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. Fun little interesting piece of history about my family is that we come from a very long line of line workers. Except me, I, I kind of, I kind of jumped the gun and didn't do that anymore. And wouldn't you have it, old grindstones looks like they came off the church of god or i think some kind of some kind of christian union like, but that you don't see them perfect like that anymore they're, they're usually broken or busted and of course this would not be east tennessee without a old moonshine still yes they would grind up corn they'd burn it into ethanol and they would get good old-fashioned mountain light or <laughs> white lightning and of course one more classic car sweet well that was building number two we didn't go into building one yet but you're probably wondering, Chet, why did you do that? That makes no sense. Well, I forgot how much was actually in building number one. See, Charles Hall was a very big contributor. I believe he also helped out with the building of the Dragon, the Churahala Skyway, a winding road that has numerous turns. It's really good if you're a biker if you're a biker um so i think before we call this a vlog for the day we're gonna head into building number one we're gonna check out the rest of the collection behold building number one which we should have visited first but that's not the point as you can see here there are a lot of cherokee weaponry Hunting tools, knives, jewelry. I'm not sure if this is a part of Charles Hall's collection, but rather a private collector's. Now that is a big gun. Guns, 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 guns. guns. Now that's a definitely a very interesting looking gun. And now uh, that is an epic save. Just look how thick that thing is. It, well, it's, it's pretty heavy too. Now I think how much money that thing could handle. And this is one of my favorite. Well, this is one of my favorite things. I grew up collecting coins and whatnot. And I believe this is a part of Charles Hall's personal collection it's pretty neat that's that's an actual confederate states of america dollar a bygone era may we not forget the sacrifices people have had to make oh yes this collection is 
But no, those are artifacts from the Bill Watch. Also, carved statues. I'm not sure if those are Cherokee or Inca. I think it might just be Cherokee. Or more clay pottery. So I'm not sure. I don't think that's Cherokee. Then again, I might be wrong. And yet, here's another mysterious figure from Telecom. There are no, not Teleco planes, but Star Mountain. This was in the early 1990s, but this was discovered about 200 yards from Panther Cave, close to Mecca Pike. And they unearthed it, or unearthed it and they think it was Mr. E. Er, Evans. Of course, we also have another local, local famous person from Telco Plains. Looks like this man won the Golden Clubs. Romans 831. And it wouldn't have been so amazing to see one of these still, still constructed and on display. But this is Babcock's big mill built in 1914 after the old Heiser mill burned down in 1913. Just look at that. Look how amazing it would have been so cool to see that. But again, sadly, that's that's from a bygone era. And there is none other than the Teleco Roundhouse built in 1950. Constructed by Doc Rogers in 1958. Dang, it would have been so cool to be in an apartment. But, oh well. And it looks like we have some old, old, old instruments. But it looks like we have here the record snail darter from Mayor Charles Hall himself. Back in November 29th, 1970. Thing is very small. Now that was interesting. The last time I was in the Charles Hall Museum was about two years ago. It was right around the time I made the decision to start up Dream Poet as a YouTube channel in a way that I never thought it would be the way it is. Thank you all for that who continue to follow me onto this path of this channel of mine it really means a lot i've come far and we're gonna keep going so you guys that is my vlog for the day don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon it just goes show to me that y'all care y'all love me and y'all want to keep posted but um, anyway love y'all very much stay tuned love y'all peace